should take a little break and play games. I love games. What game? Let's call it Hat Toss. Wow. Okay. Let's call it Hat Toss. Uh-huh. 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 And, and can I toss them at you? No. No, that wouldn't do. Let's do this. What a oh, cool. Got it. Good idea. Okay. Let's see it. Try again, try again, try again. Of course. Okay. It's just off your head for what? That yeah, try one that's not off my head. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Wait, Wait, I had three tries. Right. You get three. Stretch it out. Warm it up. Ooh, Ooh that, that was so I'm a doer. Ooh, not bad. My name is Miss Allie, and I work as the Director of Children's Ministries here at First United Methodist Church in Tuscaloosa. I hope you enjoyed the little game that me and Miss Janice just played in our office. It's a good way to get a little brain break while we're working hard doing this virtual vacation Bible school. It's so much fun. I hope you guys will play hat toss with your family and friends too. So any chair that you have at home, you can turn upside down and take a hat. Baseball caps seem to work best or if you have a long flowing hat like I had, that works pretty good too. And hey, you could assign point values to each leg. The front leg could be worth five points and the back leg could be worth 10 points. You could assign point values to the legs. I mean, if you're competitive, that is. And if you're not, just have fun. It works either way. So hat toss in a new way, that reminds me of our memory verse for today. Our memory verse comes from Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 19. It says this, look, I'm doing a new thing. Now it sprouts up. Don't you recognize it? I'm making a way in the desert, pass in the wilderness. Hey, I've got some friends meet me on the playground for our next game. So buzz right back for our next challenge. All right, guys, I'm here on the playground and I'm about to meet my friends, Sela and Deacon. They're gonna help me out with the Royal Decree Delivery. In our Bible story today, we heard all about several decrees. First off, the king issued a decree saying everyone must bow down to Haman. Then Haman tricked the king into issuing a decree saying that all the Jews were gonna be killed on a certain day. Finally, Queen Esther convinced the king to issue a decree to save all the Jewish people. That's a lot of decrees that had to go out and especially that last one, it needed to be delivered fast. So I've recruited my friends Deacon and Sela to help me deliver all these royal decrees. Let's lift off, Luna Moss. Okay, Sela, Deacon, I have a job for you. That basket is filled with royal decrees and I need you to deliver them to those baskets over there. Are you ready? All right. Lift off, Luna Moss. <laughs> Teamwork. Wow, they are great at delivering these decrees. The word will be out in no time for sure. <laughs> Wonderful, way to go guys, thanks. Great delivery. So we already know that Sela and Deacon are excellent at delivering decrees. This time, we're gonna add a little twist. You guys will need to walk backwards to deliver the decrees. Turn around and face the stairs. You will pick up one decree at a time and walk backwards to the delivery basket. Then, you may run forward to get another decree. Are you ready? All right, you will wait for Miss Janice's word It almost looks like I'm watching in Rewind. You guys are great at this. Oh, oh, 
Wonderful. Great job. <laughs> Luna Moss Helper. Right. Deacon, oh, Sela, you guys are great at delivery, and it is a tough race to see who's going to win. Now, let's switch to a more teamwork kind of way to deliver these decrees. Have you guys ever ran a relay race? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. All right, so we're going to do relay this time. Who's going to start off the relay? Sela will start off the relay. Now, Sela, when you go, you pick up one decree at a time, deliver it to our delivery basket, come back, and use your Luna Moth wing. Show me your Luna Moth wing. Yes. And tap your brother's Luna Moth wing. Deacon, let's see your Luna Moth wings. Oh, that's a strong wing. All right, we're gonna try it this way. Now, guys, let's see how you do relay race. Deacon, you'll need to line up behind Sela and wait for that wing tap. Yeah. Miss Janice, will you give them the word, please? Ready? Tap. <laughs> oh, the race must go on. Oh, how fast is he? Oh, 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 God makes Luna Moss so cool. This little creature not only transforms from a caterpillar into the big, beautiful moth that it is, but also those wings that it has camouflage it so it won't be bat bait. You know, bats love to munch on Luna Moss. So the more that they can blend into the things around them, the better. I have got a great job about blending in and I'm gonna recruit some people from the church office to play with me. It's a game called Hiding in Plain Sight. See, we're gonna be right here in Donovan Hall. Nobody's gonna be able to go around a corner or behind a door. We're all gonna stay right here at Donovan Hall. I am going to count to 15 with my eyes closed. And during that time, they'll all need to find somewhere to hide right here in plain sight. If I see them, I'm gonna call them out by their name and they'll have to sit out. They'll be, they'll be out of the game. If I don't see them to begin with, then I'm going to put my hands out and I'm gonna say 10, and they're all gonna come up and give me a high five, and then they'll have to go hide again, and I'm gonna close my eyes and count down from 10. So they'll only have 10 seconds this time to hide. Hopefully I'll find everybody after that time, but if I don't, then I'm gonna say five, and they'll come and give me a high five, and they'll only have five seconds to hide again. I'll close my eyes and count down from five. So we'll see how good of hiders they are and how much they can hide in plain sight just like the Luna Moth does. I'm going to select one spot to stand in here in Donovan Hall. I'm going to close my eyes and count down to 15. All our friends here have to squirrel away, find somewhere to hide in plain sight. All right, this is my standing spot. I will not leave this square. I will count down to 15 and you guys hide. I'm covering my eyes. Oh, 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 I see Miss Amy. I see Miss Jackie. Huh? Hmm? That's Mr. Josh. All right, Miss Amy, Mr. Josh, Miss Jackie. You are out. Aww. All right, guys. Now I'm going to say 10. Everybody come out and try, slap my hand. Uh, 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 uh. 
Dr. Hubbard, I found you. <laughs> huh. Oh, what is that? Is that Deacon I see? Uh, and wait! Miss Janice, is that you? <laughs> All you gotta do is just find an open room with enough stuff to maybe camouflage it. Be careful, don't play around any sharp corners or where anything can be broken too easy. Have fun, crawl to it. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you had fun at games. I sure did. Now, crawl out.